Hey guys, what's going on? It's Guy here, and today I'm doing my first After Effects tutorial, and the reason being is, uh, my most recent edit, or what I would think is my most recent edit since this goes up, um, uh, I actually did quite a bit of it in After Effects, but I still synced and did some effects in Sony Vegas, um, but yeah, this was pretty much my first time using After Effects on an edit, besides motion tracking. And so, anyways, the effect I'm doing is a, a camo change effect. So let me skip forward a little bit, right around here. I'll play it in, uh, like you can already see right there, that it's a different color. Let me play it in half speed. Yeah, and it just changed to purple and it comes up again in the kill cam. So it goes from purple this time to blue. And it, it kind of goes back to like a greenish color, but you know, it ends off right there, so you can't really see it. Anyways, that's the effect we're going to be doing. and. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, it, it doesn't only work with this camo, it just works best with uh, like a dynamic Black Ops 2 camo and in a high contrast environment like this. So, since he pulls out his dual Berettas a bit, I think I'm just gonna... Uh, no, I'll just do it here. Um, actually, no, it would be... Yeah, alright, I'll do it right here. So, uh, I just like splitting my clip where the things come up. Uh, since this isn't an actual edit, I'm just going to start it. Um, actually, that looks a bit weird. So yeah, let's go back. All right, sorry. Uh, I'll do it when the DSR gets pulled out. Actually, it doesn't have to be perfect and it's not an actual edit. So control shift D that. Um, delete that and move this back to the front. So, um, yeah, I'll just have it do that. Uh, how many frames is it? Alright, uh, I'm actually going to Twixer this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I lied because my Twixer is being stupid. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. It's just the tutorial. So uh, what we're going to do actually is we need to create a new... Um, a new... What's it called? Yeah, an adjustment layer. forgot the name of it. Uh, you don't really have to name it, but I like naming mine. So I'm just going to name it... Um, color change. My mic is in my way, so it's kind of hard to type. Alright, there's my arrow key. And now what you want to look up in the effects and presets tab is, um, change to color. And you want to drag that onto, uh, your adjustment layer, whatever you named it. And so, uh, you'll see this stuff, the from and to. And what you want to do is you want to drop, or take the uh, eyedropper tool, and you just want to pick a good spot on the camo, uh, maybe about like, I don't know, right there. Uh, no, that's actually not good enough. That doesn't color, or doesn't, no, that's, um, all right, whatever, that's good enough. And maybe turn off the hue a bit so it covers the gun a bit more. Um, as you can see, my uh, screen is turning red as well. And uh, I guess that's fine, but if it bothers you, then I wouldn't suggest using this effect. Because um, no matter uh, how much hue you have, it will change the screen color just a tiny bit. Um, but uh, if, you, if you get like a good enough spot on the camo and stuff, the screen color shouldn't change too terribly much. But so let's say I want to keyframe this. Uh, I want it to go from, uh, I want it to go from purple right so let's go and uh ahead and click the keyframing button this little clock up here and then move forward some and as you can see the whole uh thing has already changed so now let's go forward some right there is good uh and then we want to change this to whatever other color you want uh let's let's go to i don't know back to like Sort of the original color? No, it's kind of bland. All right, turquoise fish. And that's pretty much it. I'll uh, run preview this real quick. All right, as you can see, it changes color. Uh, like I said, the screen also kind of changes color, but as long as you get a good camo, or like a good spot on the camo, then you should be fine and it shouldn't be too noticeable. Anyways, that's the tutorial. I'll probably be doing more um, on other stuff. Yee.